Hello, internet friends and family, and real world friends and family. I decided I wanted to show you something cool today. And what I want to show you is an alternative browser. It's not all that edgy because it's been out forever. Uh, Firefox. Um, there's a lot of browsers out there. You might be using Internet Explorer because you're a glutton for punishment, uh, or Google Chrome, or uh, Apple's Safari, or Opera, or all sorts of other different kinds of browsers. They all basically do the same thing. Uh, they call out to the internet and say, I want to see your web page, and they bring it to you and they display it to you. And some of them have a little bit more customization, and others do not. Here you see I have my Firefox web browser open. If you want to get Firefox, you can either in the Google search bar or up top in your address bar type in download Firefox, and it will be the first result. And you can go download it for your PC or Mac. Um, and it's got uh, add-ons right there that you can go check out. So if we go to the add-ons, you can see they've got uh, all sorts of crazy stuff. They've got uh, JavaScript view so you can see the code, YouTube Flash to HTML5, Converter, uh, Facebook Photo Zoom, um, this one uh, protects your privacy, Ghostery, see who's tracking your web browsing and blocking with Ghostery. Okay, what I'm getting into is one that does something like that, and it's called Collusion. Okay, uh, again, going back uh, to my home page, you can search for Firefox Collusion, and it'll take you to a website where you can download that. Now, what Collusion does is it tracks session cookies that are installed on your computer. A session cookie is uh, a little file that contains your username, your password information to log you onto the site, and other information about what you've done on the site already. And what it does is, let's say I go to Facebook, and I have logged into Facebook, and I have a session cookie on my computer that has stored my login and password. If I click on something on the site, like my friends page, if I didn't have a session cookie, it would ask me to log in and enter my username and password every time it loaded a new page. So session cookies are good. They're not something to be scared of. What's not necessarily good about session cookies is that they are valuable. They're, they have data about you. And companies like Facebook can offer you the services they offer for free because in exchange for your free services, they sell your session cookies. Now they don't sell your username and password, but they sell things like this. If I go to Drudge Report, right at the top of the page is going to be an advertisement. Now this advertisement is for, it looks like a Windows phone. And when I hover over it, look, it Oh, that's tricky. I can't even make it stop. Okay, what you just saw was something very tricky. First of all, when I hovered over the advertisement, it immediately started playing a video ad. Okay, and it's a YouTube embedded link. Then the other tricky thing it did was when I hovered over the pause button so I could shut it up for a second so I could talk, the pause button changed to a Google Plus One button, which means instead of turning it off, I'm clicking like. And what that does is it shares it with all my friends on Google Plus because I've just plus one it. It's like thumbs up on Facebook for all of you who don't Google Plus. Um, so that's pretty tricky. Uh, JavaScript or HTML5, whichever one this site's running. Um, however, what just happened is when I moved my mouse over that, see when I move it over this link right here, it changes something on the site. In this case, it highlights the link. It might turn the pointer into a little hand. But in the case of this particular ad, it activated the ad and started playing it. Now, when it did that, it did that because the website is tracking where the pointer is on the screen, coordinates. <clears throat> it also tracks how long it hovers over that point on the screen, and it tracks uh, what it's hovering over if that object is some sort of active content. Um, now that's valuable because if I, if I had not clicked on that ad, which I didn't until I tried to turn it off, um, 
the website knows that I hovered over it. So previously when I went to drudgereport.com, the advertisement was for uh, weight loss. And it had a big button that said, uh, click here for more information. <clears throat> I hovered over the button and it turned into a hand. Even though I never clicked it, the website knows that I hovered over the ad for weight loss. That information is stored in my session cookie and can be sold to other advertisers. Now let's go to collusion here. I've got Drudge Report open. I'm going to reset collusion so you can watch how this happens. I'm going to close my open windows. Now I'm going to go open a new window and I'm going to go to Facebook. Go back to collusion and there's Facebook. Facebook is circled in blue, which means that that is a site I have been to. But these two sites I have not been to, fbcdn.net and doubleclick.net. Doubleclick.net is an advertiser. It happens to be the advertiser that sponsored that ad on the Drudge Report website that I just showed you. Now let's go to Drudge Report. Go back to Collusion. And look at all these sites that have popped up. Every one of these sites has access to my session cookies. Zoom out a little bit. Okay, now I have never been... Where's the link? Look at this is a really interesting link. Facebook gave my information to doubleclick.net. Doubleclick.net in turn gave my information to adserve.net. And adserve.net shared it with this whole universe of advertisers, Lead Alliance, Content Spread, Webmaster Plan, Xanox, Rebuy, Kasp Kapersky, that's an antivirus uh, site, 3GNet. CPX ads. I have never been to any of those sites. There's Drudge Report. It gave my information to Amazon AWS. Whether you know it or not, Amazon is a gigantic web server farm that hosts tons of sites. For instance, Reddit. When Reddit goes down, it's probably because Amazon's server farm has a problem. Okay, so the link from Facebook and Drudge, the only two sites I've actually been to, to this whole universe of sites, is through doubleclick.net and amazonaws.com. And already I've got probably 25, just guessing, sites that have access to my session cookies. And it's really robust because Facebook and Drudge share DoubleClick. They both use it. So that has cross-session cookies. Everything I do going back and forth from Facebook to Drudge is gonna be shared. If I leave Facebook, if I go in here and I go from Facebook to YouTube, That's going to generate more connections. See that cross page browsing habit or activity shared with YouTube, which is then branched out to all these others. Okay. So with only visiting three actual sites, I have opened three web pages and all of these companies, these are companies, these are people with access to the internet paying Facebook, YouTube and Drudge Report for information about me. All of those people now know that I just watched an ad for a Windows phone. All of those people know that I clicked on a game on Facebook or that I watched a particular YouTube video. Um, and when I watch a YouTube video next, guess what kind of ads are probably going to pop up before my content loads? Probably some Windows phone stuff something that I've actually looked at in the past. When I start getting junk mail a week or two from now, guess what it's going to have in it? Windows phone advertisements because I've clicked on an ad. So in a nutshell, that's how companies on the web get your information. That's where junk mail comes from. That's where spam comes from. That's where the ads and content on the websites that you go to come from. Look, it's still messing around. They're still talking to each other generating more links. Now, now Ying has my information. Okay. So Internet Explorer is not going to give you this level of information. Firefox has got a lot of cool little plugins for it. Chrome has a lot of cool plugins for their stuff. If you are a Ubuntu Linux user or a Linux Mint user, uh, you really have a lot of options for privacy. Under uh, Firefox, you can go to Preferences, go to privacy and check tell websites that I do not want to be tracked and they will not sell your information now that's in a nutshell how easy it is to tell who's tracking you and and uh, to get some predictability on uh, why 
the content that's being delivered to you is being delivered, why the email that's being sent to you is being sent to you. If you've got any uh, questions, uh, leave a comment on my YouTube channel or send me a message on Facebook or uh, call me if you know me. Anyway, thanks and happy browsing. Good luck.